In this video, let's find the equation of a curve passing through the point minus 2, 3. Given that the slope of the tangent to the curve at any point x, y is 2x upon y square. So the slope of the tangent of the curve is given to us. We know that slope of the tangent is given by dy by dx. And hence the value of dy by dx is given to us as 2x upon y square. So this is another way of giving us the differential equation. And we have to calculate the equation of the curve passing through the point minus 2 comma 3. So we need to first find the equation of the curve and then we have to put the values of x and y as minus 2 and 3 and calculate the value of the constant. And finally, we will get the solution that is the curve passing, passing through this point. Let's start. Analyzing the differential equation, we realize that it is in variable separ separable form. It is variable separable as the variables can be separated very easily. We can bring this y square to the left hand side and the dx can be brought to the right hand side and the variables will be completely on separate sides of the equation. So we can write y square dy equal to 2x dx. And now we can integrate this to get the solution. On integrating 1, we are going to get integration of y square dy equals integration of 2x dx. Now to integrate this, we are going to make use of the identity that integration of x raised to n dx can be calculated as x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1. Here the value of n on the left hand side is 2, on the right hand side it's 1. So let's calculate. We will get y raised to 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 equal to 2 into x raised to 1 plus 1 upon 1 plus 1 plus c. Let's simplify. So we'll get x cube upon 3 equal to 2 into x square upon 2 plus c. This 2 in the numerator and 2 in the denominator will cancel each other. So we can write it simply as y cube upon 3 equal to x square plus c. So this is the equation of the curve represented by the differential equation. Now let's put the value of x as minus 2 and y as 3 to get the value of C. So we will get y cube that is 3 cube upon 3 equal to minus 2 square plus c. Let's simplify. So we will get 9 equal to 4 plus c. And from here we can calculate c as 5. y cube upon 3 equal to x square plus Let's take 3 to the right hand side. So we'll get y cube equal to 3x square plus 15. And this is the required curve. This is the required equation of the curve at the point minus 2 comma 3. We can also take cube root on both sides and get the equation in terms of y. So we can write as y equals 3x squared plus 15 raised to 1 by 3. This is also the same curve, just it is written a little bit differently. So I hope you understood how we have found the curve. You have to first solve the differential equation. Put the values given for x and y to get the value of c. If you see, there is no arbitrary constant. By finding out the value of c and substituting it, we have removed the arbitrary constants and hence these can be said as the particular solutions of the differential equation. Keep practicing. Let's meet in the next video.